So now the final part of the case to be stripped is the side. You can see it's in pretty dire condition. All the way along the finish is pretty much beyond salvaging. So we begin the stripping process of this. So now you can see the side of the case of the reed organ and we're about to apply the chemical stripper. I'm using this one here, it's called Night Remorse and it's a paint and varnish remover. So the instructions say to apply it liberally in a good coating and to leave it for several hours for it to penetrate the surface of the paint or the varnish. So I have some of this stripper here in a jar. It's important to wear rubber gloves with this because it's a fairly caustic chemical and so we'll begin applying it with a brush liberally into all the crevices and all over the surface of the organ case. Plenty of night remorse. That's a good coating on throughout. Just a bit up here. Make sure there's plenty on there. I'm going to leave this now for quite a long time and then we'll come back and begin the process of removing all of the finish. Okay folks, so here we are with the reed organ case. It's been left sitting now with the strip runner for quite a while. The uh, container with the nitromorse in it recommends 2 to 24 hours, but as I mentioned you want to make sure it doesn't dry out at least. So here we have a scraper, paint scraper, and uh, lots of newspaper. We're going to need that for removing the gunk that's coming off this now. So, letting the chemical do the work, we're going to strip it. You see what has come off there already. I'll go again. Again, we're not scraping hard with this. The chemical should have done the work at this stage and we're just taking this deposit off the surface. So I'm going to start down here. So it has done a good job. were to sand all this finish off not only would it take forever but it would use so much sandpaper this does a quick relatively quick and easy job you can see the need for copious amounts of newspaper Now you see on the side of the case there's this intricate carving. Now the paint stripper has gotten into those grooves. You also see there are grooves here as well on the side of the case. Now you want to resist the temptation to be too vigorous with a metal scrape on that with a metal paint scraper. But what I find is very useful is these wooden skewers. And you can get into those and work it all the way along scraping taking out some of the gunk that has accumulated and here again in the carving you can get in there with the skewer it's a little bit awkward now with holding the camera but you get the idea you want to work out work all of these grooves with the skewer as best you can and get out from them all the gunk. Okay, in there. Now I'm going to get the hard bristle brush and the toothbrush. Get into those 
grooves, clean them out as best as we can. There's years of dirt and accumulated finishes. This case had been refinished with all kinds of things over the years, coats of this and that, and it's all now accumulated in those grooves. So. sponge here to get into these grooves to get out some more of the gunk that's in there. You can see it's taking it out all right. You want to get as much of this stuff off before we go to the step of washing it down with white spirits. Okay, we're going to take a fresh piece of wire wool. This is fine grade wire wool. Four zeros. Now I have a piece that I've already been working with. I'm going to use it first the last out of it. Now I'm not a professional at this job, I'm an amateur. So if there's anything I'm doing you have a comment to make about that you think you can do differently or better, please do leave a comment. At this stage you get a feel for the kind of colour that's in the wood when it's wet with the white spirits. Now by tomorrow it'll have dried out and it'll be very pale and unappealing but this does give an idea of what we're going to have when we are finished. Getting it, getting the the residue out of these carvings here. Work the wire wool into the grooves. Again, use the assistance of the the skewer. Oops. Clean it out. getting there. As I said this is a job worth doing well, doing properly, no cutting corners here. amazing how beautiful the wood is under all of this gunk. Years of dirt comes away and the beauty of the wood can be seen again. Walnut is particularly beautiful. Now 
there we go. I'll check in on it tomorrow. I'd say I'll probably have a little bit more work to do. I'm sure I've left some bits on there, but that's all I can do for today.